You know, I was a, I, I've been a, a dyed in the wool <laughs> Bikram practitioner for, you know, like 10 years, really. Um, I started in 2001, so before the studio opened. And um, really, I mean, I mean, Bikram was a very good entry point for, for me into yoga. And, and the studio has been a, a, a solid studio, a very good community. So I, I, I've always enjoyed the teachers here, I've enjoyed the environment here, I've enjoyed the students and the community. And all of those things, I would say, in my mind, have, have continued as, as the studio's been evolving. Um, the, um, I think, uh, so as, as new offerings um, came, became available, I, I, was act, I, was very, I was happy to try the new things, and partly because I knew the studio was going to be good in terms of the teachers, and the studio has always had a high standard of teacher, teachers. So it was easy for me to try new things. I, was I knew I'd get a high standard of teacher. Um, and, but it's been, um, it's been a good evolution. I've realized that um, while the Bikram did give me balance and was helping me in many ways, I had developed patterns that I was unaware of in terms of how I was using my body. So um, the different disciplines, the teachers from different backgrounds um, have made, and using different movement and different patterns have definitely helped me to, um, to become even more balanced, really. Doing uh, the hot yoga, the Bikram series, it's like, you know, after five years of doing it, it can get really routine and kind of boring. Not boring, but, you know, it's just the same thing. And so when they added on to the studio, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to do vinyasa. I've always wanted to do Pilates and these other classes. So it really mixed it up for me. And, um, and that's another thing that keeps me coming is that there's such good diversity in the workouts. The core of the teaching and its foundation really has stayed the same. I mean, the core principles, I, I would say, are, have been constant. Um, bringing, bringing the positions, but the thing that's really changed, though, is more flexibility in terms of some of the sequencing and some of the language, um, not being so locked into the dialogue, um, and so the language is, is more fluid. Um, and I think that allows for accommodation to different students being in different places and having different needs. Um, and again, so and, and opening up um, some different postures that um, strengthen different parts of the body that, that the traditional sequence really did not. So I guess I would say, that the foundation of the teaching is very solid, but the but there's more diversity and a little more flexibility um, to meet individual students' needs.